it feels good to be sitting down and filming like a legit makeup video and not a vlog not gonna lie i love vlogs i mean it's not like i'm dissing vlogs i love vlogging on days when i am feeling lonely it feels like i have company with me and the fact that i feel like i connect with you on a personal level through vlogs is just it's unparalleled but i also miss my sit down videos and i've been telling myself i need to do these more often i need to find the time more often ever since becoming a business owner um over the past year figuring the time between the two has been a forever balancing act so i hope you will cut me some slack and just know that i miss doing these as much as you possibly miss them in today's video you will be seeing a few verified samples unreleased that are for most likely 2023 launches i am for the first time just going to kind of leave it out there hanging um hanging i mean not really hanging these are works in progress there are things that caused the many many variables that caused me to be unable to launch them um within this year whether i'm still working on them whether the financials required more investment so i put them for 2023 and things like that so i am just glad to be sitting down and talking about the makeup i've been obsessed with only a couple of them are unreleased samples and these are definitely not all my samples because i'm clearly working always on at least a dozen of them but i feel like this will give me a chance to really um talk about all my current favorites talk about everything i'm currently using loving deep dive into textures formulas not just verified mind you there's a lot of non verified over here as well and uh, just kind of dive into things i didn't say hi where fam or welcome you into this video so hi where fam or welcome to today's video i am taking you through everything i'm currently loving i feel like i already did the intro right there without really saying hi where fam ow that was weird i am uh, going to do my hair last uh i washed it and i haven't blow dried it or anything 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 so it's just kind of there in its mostly straightish form which it is by default but we'll do my hair later at the end of this because i do have somewhere to go today and i want to make sure that my hair looks a little extra nice for it hmm okay shall we dive into it let's dive into it i am looking at my screen and realizing that i am wearing a kaftan and i know that you guys have been asking for a kaftan collection video which is coming i promise i keep saying i promise and i know that it clearly has not come yet but it is on my list and i will get to it that i promise before this year ends uh i am planning to do vlogmas this year oh if you have any requests or want me to collab with specific people please let me know in the comments um i genuinely i'm looking forward to it i'm kind of going back and forth between should i do it in a way that i literally just do vlogs or should i do a mix of like sit downs with vlogs like let me know obviously the original style of doing this like internationally is vlogs only let me know what you think um i am currently absolutely obsessed with this summer fridays jet lag mask i opened it for the first time on my trip to saudi i ordered this through cosme cosmetic club this is not a paid nothing in today's video is paid sponsored um there are no collaborations as such but yes this was one of the things they did send to me so disclaimer there but every single thing um is my opinion is not i mean even when i do collabs to be honest it's my opinion but I understand that there's skepticism around it because of the influencer industry at large. I sometimes like I don't want to sound like pick me and a geo, but I'm different. No, there's a lot of people that are genuinely still putting out their authentic opinions out there, not just me. Um but yeah, I mean, I understand the audience being a little bit skeptical. That's all I'm trying to say. So, I feel like the Summer Fridays jet lag mask has a little bit of fragrance, a little bit more than I'd like if I'm being honest. but i don't mind overlooking it for this product because it makes my skin feel so good it honestly makes my skin feel really really nice to a point where i have only used this through my saudi trip and literally i opened this on my first day in saudi i was there for what 6 or 7 days i think while i'm filming this the vlogs have not yet started going up but if the vlogs are fully up by now I will leave a little Saudi playlist link up in the eye for you. So yeah, I would one hundred percent overlook the fact that this product in particular has a little extra fragrance than I would like, simply because it makes my skin feel really, 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 really nice. 
uh for a change i will not be using a primer today just for a change otherwise you know i'm a big primer girl i believe 100% in um just making sure your skin feels and looks nice so that your makeup lasts longer to be honest if you have irl paris filter with you you're sorted on that front i am going to go ahead and use the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter uh the reason i might be looking there a little bit is because i'm making sure all the products are in focus um i had mixed opinions about this the first time i used it because i made the mistake of using it as is thinking it would also give me a tint it basically just left me looking like a shiny disco ball uh if you saw my big sephora haul video again i will leave a link into the eye i think you already know that about it i'm leaving a little bit extra and i'm actually going all over my high points now i would go even extra if what i was using was a like a completely high coverage full coverage foundation and in the good foundations i'm currently absolutely obsessed with this jojo armani luminous silk i have been ever since i got my hands on it but I'm not using it today. I feel like using a little tinty ceramy zone today. So I'm using this Ilia Skin Tint again, a product I have been so obsessed with. I've been switching between these two and uh, Lakme Nine to Five. So I feel like I've covered all the price categories in that zone. To be honest, um, the Lakme Nine to Five is a really great. I'll leave links to everything I'm talking about down below in the description section. So don't worry about that. Can I tell you what I really like about the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk? Before I talk about Elia, actually, it gives my skin that luminosity without making the full coverage look like I have something on my skin. You know what I mean, and that's my makeup style where I want to be able to just kind of um, how do I say? Uh, I want something that would very easily make my skin look better without looking cakey. You know what I mean? I want my beauty routines simplified in that sense, to be honest. And the luminous silk does that one hundred percent. With the Ilia product that I have on my face, I am using my number zero five foundation brush. uh in the luminous silk not luminous silk i'm sorry in the ilia skin serum skin tint serum what i really like is that there's minimal coverage so it literally just leaves a faint tint you know what i mean and if you're someone who is looking for full coverage or has troubled skin i may or may not be recommending this for you it depends on the coverage that you are looking for at the end of the day um i have used this on a friend who has textured skin and i actually really liked it on her because it didn't conceal what we otherwise call as flaws which are not necessarily flaws guys uh but it just gave her skin a really nice even finish and it's not full coverage so don't expect to conceal dark circles with it obviously but at the same time it is something that just gave a um, a really nice finish to the skin which i appreciate now thankfully 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 barring a few um not blemishes but like i do have some marks that have started popping up here over the last year very little there's not much i don't know if it's like showing by itself now though i've applied some product um but i don't know if you've spotted them in the vlogs or whatever Ever since I got into derma planning, I have definitely started seeing because of my sideburns shaving situation a little bit of skin disruption. It's more on my left than my right to be honest. My right is more or less the same. So I feel like when I use a trimmer, nothing happens, but it also doesn't give me the clean finish of a razor. I have had like a couple of people tell me why are you shaving? It looks weird. Don't shave. but to be very honest when i'm applying my makeup even though it's very little hair and i know it's completely normal this is just a me thing um i want that extra space for the finish i just i don't know like it didn't make a difference to me till i started shaving it but now that i've started shaving it i just don't want the hair there anymore may i change my mind over time sure maybe but the current phase i'm in is very um i want to shave it because it gives me a smooth base and because it just kind of um i i i like i find it cleaner i find it that i like it for me so yeah see what i mean like it just it's my skin but it looks better of course right now you're also seeing more shine and radiance because of the hollywood filter 
Uh, I'm gonna dim it down just a little bit with my IRL Paris mattifying um, airbrush powder in a bit. But I like that this is there because it doesn't completely go go then. I do it in a way that it is matte but you can still see the radiance shining through a little bit. This, where did it go? My god. This is um, a really 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 good product. I feel like this is, I mean of course it's more expensive than the MAC strobe cream. So if you don't want to get this, you could stick to the MAC strobe cream. Are there further drugstore dupes? For this, yes, there are 100%. Um, I feel like things like budgets and shopping in budgets and investing in certain brands is all very, very subjective. If anything, I think I'm more and more drawn towards, I've always been a little bit more drawn towards luxury makeup brands only because um, I felt certain finishes I was only getting in luxury brands. I don't mean to sound like I'm plugging Verified in, but that was one of the things that I worked on with Verified where I wanted to give those luxury finishes but not necessarily at those prices, right? So I think we fall into the premium category or the mass stage category, not the luxury category or the mass category. Like I feel like it's somewhere in the middle, no? Like where we are is the way I see it. Um, but that's one of my hopes for my own brand where I want to be able to give you like really sick absolutely amazing quality um, formulas and also with the best quality ingredients i have really started to value that ever since i got into r d mode for um verified back in like 17 ish uh where i was like listen what are you like tell me about the ingredients right i would always ask that to people to labs to factories and that's probably why i also value the luxury aspect more because you're putting it on your face guys you're putting it on your face like you want to make sure what's going on your face is of good quality um okay so for concealer i today i'm going to use this a uh, vanish concealer from hourglass where's the branding there you go i uh, ordered this because i've heard so much about it and i ordered this i got this again i didn't order it technically but i got it basically from cosmic cosmetic club again just in case you're wondering where i got a lot of these um like i'll tell you which ones i ordered directly from sephora like for example this was directly from sephora this was cosme this was cosme and then the next product also was um not one of the products i have sitting over here was directly from sephora so i do a mix of things um I ordered this because I have heard so much about it and I said listen I'm a concealer girl there will be days where I will skip the foundation skip everything and might just reach for some concealer and something to set the concealer down because I don't want creasing and uh, I'm always a little skeptical going into concealers one of the other concealers I bought on my Saudi trip was the um Rare Beauty Concealer. I picked up two concealers on my trip to Saudi. I picked up the Dior uh, one and I picked up the Rare Beauty one. I'm yet to try both. So I will be doing that one of these days. But this one over here, I ordered a mini off and I'm like, I should have just gotten a full sized one. It is so good. It genuinely is just so, so, so good. Um, I have very deep set eyes i haven't gone back to eye fillers since trying them last year i on a regular day prefer to reach for brushes for my under eyes but because today i'm looking for like full coverage on my under eye situation because i'm going somewhere after <clears throat> sorry because i'm going somewhere after i'm going to go in with a beauty blender uh i like brushes for the under eyes but in my particular case because of my dark circles and because of the shape of my eyes i feel like i don't necessarily get full coverage of my under eyes with brushes so if you have someone who is lesser trouble with your under eyes than me stick to brushes and if you're looking to optimize coverage uh, for any concealer then i guess go for a beauty blender so just gonna put that out there really nice and clear so what i like about this vanish concealer is can you see the way it's brightened my eye as well without a gray cast which is very important one of the things i i on Instagram especially, I have been getting a lot of questions about how have I reduced my dark circles, what have I been doing to reduce my dark circles. So since I'm spilling some beans in this video, I guess let me go on to tell you there have been certain product sampling, sampling process that has been going on for quite a while. Uh, the reason it hasn't kind of gone out to the world yet in terms of what I'm using is because obviously the product hasn't been launched yet. Uh, it is something that I have been working on for quite, quite, quite a while and it is not something I'm ready to talk about yet. 
but because i'm spilling beans today i feel like let me just kind of put it out there and say that and get that done with so that you don't ask me again till the actual launch and when it launches you know what i've been using for this much time uh i don't know if it's a 2023 item it might be a 2024 item we'll only know closer but um let's just it's it's basically what's been helping me with my under eyes quite a bit and mind you i i do use other products here and there i don't want to sound like it's only one thing but it is the dominating factor of my um of my under eye routine for a little bit so just want to kind of put that out in the universe send me good juju <laughs> over timelines because things with vendors are um, always a back and forth i don't want to get into it specifically right now because especially like we have a product we have a fragrances and lashes going live today today as i'm filming this video it is the 6th of october so when you see the vlog from today which will probably go up before this or after this or whatever you'll know a little bit about the madness going on with today and why my day has actually been so stressful so Yeah, I feel like I can't put a timeline on things of my own whim. I just can't. It's not something I have the privilege of doing. Um and I'm sure a lot of other small business owners face similar things. It's not just me. I've been obsessed with Maybelline's Fit Me for as long as I can remember. I don't see myself going away from it anytime particularly soon. Now, a question I get asked fairly often is why do I use Fit Me if I'm also going to use my Verified Airbrush Powder, right? So the Verified Airbrush Powder is translucent. It gives you finish. It doesn't give you coverage. They're two different things. For my under eyes over here as you can see, the shape, the uh discoloration, even if it's reduced, there is discoloration. Not to pretend like it's completely gone. I feel like the Fit Me gives me the right amount of color balancing that I need on my under eyes. So I feel like what's stuck there? One second please. Yeah. So I feel like the color balancing is important for my under eyes, not necessarily needed anywhere else on my face so no matter what i'm doing like the fit me or the jeffree star loose powder or the fenty loose powder in banana uh, are all that i specifically use for my under eyes these are not products that i go all over my face with because a i don't need them anywhere else because they don't blur out your pores and they don't do any of you know the airbrush stuff but at the same time they are fantastic at adding some pigment and uh, although this one is the least finely milled of them all this gives coverage because it's the least finely milled of them all uh when it comes to fenty or jeffree star um those are much 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 finer and actually those you can use for baking as well i think jeffree star i mean jeffree star is on nike but i don't know if they've gotten the loose powder i was a little bit disappointed with the uh, color and product selection when it came down it felt like really like old stuff so let's see if they bring the new stuff down as well i don't know and uh, when it comes to fenty and rare and rem beauty i'm like guys when is this going to come to india i am i really really like using some of those products and um like with rare you will see the mascara in a bit that i'm using over here with um jeffrey it's the i mean i don't buy jeffrey anymore simply because i don't feel like i don't know just something has gone off in my head for the brand over a period of time for quite obvious reasons to be honest but when it comes to um rem beauty i kind of like their mascara when it comes to rare i like a lot more things also probably because i've tried a lot more things to be there so i've gone ahead and used the loose powder on my under eyes now to answer your questions about the airbrush powder i have my loose one sitting right here but since again i'm spilling such massive beans today may as well go ahead and tell you that the compact version is in testing mode we think we may have cracked it i don't please send me good juju my god i don't want to be jinxing it for everybody uh you can use a brush and go ahead i'm actually going to take a beauty blender and this is a sample with me that's why it's in this case obviously it won't be in this case i'm going to go ahead and stamp some into my under eyes again so that it blurs those pores i love the loose powder one i'm going to be honest i love 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 it i may actually love it more than this uh but <laughs> 
because I'm in absolute testing mode for this, both for application, blurriness, effect. Uh, we've been drop testing it. There are other tests happening at the factory. Um, the packaging, the, because obviously it's a slightly revised formula to make sure that it doesn't break. In case you're new to the party, let me tell you the issue with um, the first version of the compact one and why it's been out of stock since April and why we haven't restocked it is because um, it is such a it was such a such a such a such a fine oil powder it was beautiful but when people were dropping it it was breaking very 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 easily so when I was working on a restock and when that feedback kicked in I was very clear on the front that brush number zero one verified um, that I don't want to bring back something that is so easy to break of course powders are going to break if you drop them but in some cases it was just breaking for people in like transit and things like that so we needed to make it a little bit firmer while also maintaining all the good raw materials while also maintaining that it's talc free and all of that stuff so after months and months of working on it i think we may have cracked it um i'm this is just something that i use all the time genuinely the loose version of it but because i'm in absolute testing mode i mean i shuffle between the two guys like can we just leave it at that depends on what i'm what I'm when I'm traveling I have this all the way simply because I'm in general a loose powder baby you know this you know I don't use sorry it's the fit me um you know I don't use any other compact in general so between this and this depending on occasion depending on what I'm using depending on I'm like a mom I'm like a, my bias so I'm not biased and my bias so I'm not biased that's just where I'm at um so yeah it's not i cannot commit to a timeline right now let me put that out there already uh it is in testing mode it has been in testing mode for uh a few weeks at this point to be honest i want to try and launch it at the soonest let me just kind of leave it at that i just every time i think of a timeline or start to about to say a timeline i'm like babe this is not even in your control shut up <laughs> So you can see how like it has completely blurred my skin out, which is what I love about this product. It is unparalleled and uh, it gives you what like super expensive airbrush powders might give you. Uh, in my opinion, this is, I mean, I'm sure I might sound biased because it's my brand and it's my baby, but like, I think it does an even better job. Uh, <laughs> wow. Imagine me getting myself into trouble for praising my own products. Yeah, but I'm proud of the products I'm putting out there, right? That's why I'm putting them out to begin with. Um, let's use the benefit for me today. I really like this product. I enjoy using it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my brows. I am using a verified brush number 07. You get this in the eye brush set uh, of six or you get it in the full set where you also get a pouch and all that good stuff. I land up using these products as mirrors so often because they're super convenient and they're small enough to you to hold in the hand. What I love about this brow pomade, which by the way I use in the shade 4.5, it's a nice combination of creamy and a little bit gel-like, but not in like a jelly way, more in like a gel liner way. It's not very waxy, which I really, really, really appreciate. It goes on super smooth, blends really fine, and the pigment is just beautiful and requires minimal effort. Okay, should we do face or should we do eyes? Um, maybe we should do eyes first. I keep going back and forth. People talk about, oh, what was your favorite order of what's your go-to order of, you know, wearing your makeup? And I'm like, I have no order. It really depends. Like literally the days I've applied bronzer and then gone to eyeshadow and then come to blush and then done lie. Like it's it's quite a fun ride when I do my um, makeup. This over here I have is the Dior eyeshadow palette. Guys, I for the first time in my life i've traveled with just one eyeshadow palette that has literally never happened with me i always keep a minimum of two palettes even if they're teeny ones with me when i'm traveling and this time i when, when i went to saudi i literally just took this palette with me so if you saw any of my looks and close-ups and selfies and the vlogs or on insta and all of that stuff um and you were like hey i like her eyeshadow because i did get a lot of replies on insta dm saying i really like what you're doing with your eyeshadow ga game on um this trip the full credit goes to it there is some fallout but i don't mind it fallout doesn't bother me as much if there is still pigment in the product you know what i mean and if it's easy to blend and if it goes on really nice it doesn't bug me that much um eyeshadows are really tough to crack also as a product let me put that out there uh, i'm using the bricky tone from it and just kind of going over and i'm using the eyeshadow brushes from verified i 
pretty much only use my own brushes if I'm being very honest. It might sound like I'm trying to plug all my Verified products, but I'm not. It's just that I'm genuinely really happy and proud of what I've managed to create. I don't compliment myself or, you know, pat my own back very often, which is one of the many things I've been working on myself about. Uh, but when it comes to my products, I feel like, alhamdulillah, what I'm able to put out, the price points, we've done our very best. Um, so what I'm doing right now is just filling up the entire lid, going into the crease, giving it a little bit of a round softened edge. These Dior eyeshadows are really, really great to work with from the point of view of um, just, you know, simple blending. They're pigmented, but they're not so pigmented that you're like, oh my God, what the hell did I just do on my eyes and now I need to tone it down. They're fairly simple to work with. And like I said, the colors, oh my God, the shade, by the way, that I'm using of this palette is called Coral Neutral, if I remember correctly. Um, Coral Neutrals, yes. And the uh, shades are really nice for Indian skin tones. So I think I may be becoming like a Dior makeup lover because I even bought the concealer. I like this. And there are a couple of other things that I've been eyeing and that I want to get. But you know, I give myself like a budget to shop every month. So... I'm trying not to nichoro my entire budget on buying things on like just Dior because otherwise suddenly it'll seem like Dior, Dior, Dior and I don't want that. More or less even, I'll do the finishing touches in a bit. What I want to do next is, uh, in case you want to know about brush numbers, this was brush number 8 that I was using for the roundy buffing, patting things down. I'm using brush number 9 now which is a little bit flatter brush and uh, I am gonna... So this was the bricky one I used earlier, right in the middle. Now what I'm gonna do is, what should we do? This is not fully flat. This is flat and a little roundy as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a slightly brown tone and a little magenta. Little, little, little. Let's mix it up. And I'm gonna go into just, I'm not going all in. I'm literally just adding a touch of it here. I'm just patting, I'm not dragging at all because I'm not looking to fill it up and turn it into smoky. I'm just looking at adding some depth and nothing else. So it doesn't look like a one shade eye. You know what I mean? I'm enjoying doing my makeup like while talking and this and that but it's 10 to 4 and I have to leave within the next 40-ish minutes for um, this event thing that I have. So I better start speeding my ass up. Now I'm going in with brush number 11, which is a Chotu C brush that I land up using for the um, shimmery tone. Just to add a little bit of glam. I land up using this mostly for either the inner corner also you could do it. Like if you're looking to go into the lid and all of that, but I'm just gonna go into adding a little bit of shimmer on my lower eyes, doing this very roughly. It doesn't have to be defined. I'm just looking for a little pop, I did, essentially. And I'm gonna take my inner corner brush. My mini dome is one of my like most used brushes. Can I tell you what somebody said to me the other day? Um, They said to me that they land up washing these brushes regularly and more often because A, they feel like maintaining them more than the others. And because they're really easy to like wash and dry. And mind you, this is a friend of mine who doesn't wash her brushes all that often and something that I scold her about. I scold all my friends about their makeup and skincare habits sometimes. It's just a thing. The mama bear in me kicks in. Like for some reason, I have a lot of friends that continue to use their expired, expired makeup. Like things they bought like six years ago. Aditi, I am looking at you. <laughs> she watches my videos sometimes. She says if she sees it, it'll be hilarious. If you're watching this, please send me a screenshot and let me know that you watch this. Um, I absolutely despise using expired products. I feel like if I've had something for too long, um, and I know that it's like, you know, whatever, it's been too long, it's time to give it up. I will heartlessly throw it out. I am absolutely 100% that person. Using the first brush, once again, just going in with, uh, into this very neutral banana zone. Because it's the same shade, but I want to kind of, because it's going over the same shade that I first used for this brush. Use this brush for, sorry. But the banana tone will just give it a little bit of diffusing on the outer corners, which I like. I don't like any shade to not have a neutral bareness to the outside. So when you're just leaving your pigment as is, it will never be as soft. Like that professionally done wala feel. So use one of those very bare eggshell kind of shades and give it that additional softness so you can see the way it kind of ends in a very subtle manner. 
um that's a trick that i have picked up obviously over the years and uh, have grown to be very very fond of should we do the eyes as well let's go ahead and apply some eyeliner got a call in the middle of doing my liner and i like concentrate so much when i'm doing my liner i wanted a particularly thin one today uh because i want to do lashes and i want to i feel like there's a little bit of color going on on the eyes and that whole story is happening anyway for mascara today i'm going to go ahead and use this rare beauty one i got my hands on it in saudi this was one of the three things i bought in saudi three makeup items i bought in saudi my very first impression of it was so so and yet somehow i landed up falling in love with it by the time i was on wear 3 or wear 4 um this does happen with me and mascara is fairly often if i'm being honest like i consistently land up in my first wear being like ah and then fall in love with them another one like this is the rem beauty one which i still think this is better than like 100% i would vote that this is better just going ahead and adding i was talking to who was i talking to the other day that said that Oh my god I forget who I have these conversations with sometimes somebody the other day who had naturally fantastic lashes would get asked whether they're wearing false lashes when they wear this um this gives a nice push up this gives a nice amount of length it is supposed to be a voluminous lash i find length and volume maybe i'm weird am i the drama you know the real so i feel like i like in general i like what this does so i'm not complaining about it at all the first time i wore it i was a little bit mixed up about it for sure but i think i've grown to like it but that happens with a lot of makeup products i feel sometimes mere case mein mascaras ke sath zyada hota hai for sure um and i really hope red does come to india at some point i just want to even out my inner corner i think that because the phone rang while i was doing my um I know I didn't completely even out the inner corner properly. Yes. Um now I feel like it's a little bit even. I think I've gone a tad thicker than I intended on the inside while evening it out but happens to the best of us. I'm not applying mascara on the bottom lash just for now. I will come back to it in a second. Should I do my lashes now or should I come back after face? Let's do the lashes. Um so okay, disclaimer, I land up using my sample. So like this is a verified lash that's cut and chopped and ready. The one I'm about to use is uh, so glam, but, but I'm holding this here just to kind of show you the monocarton nevertheless. My lashes are something I'm personally genuinely very very proud of. There was supposed to be more in this lash collection which unfortunately uh went on hold because of various circumstances. Uh hoping and praying that with time we might be able to, you know, kind of um do more in this section and in this side of like the lash world. Uh this lash in particular may have a relatively thicker, I'm saying relatively thicker um band because it's a little bit not heavier none of them are heavy but it's a thicker uh lash style let's call it that and i'm going to go ahead and apply this on the eyes these lashes literally this particular sample i think i've been using since like march when ria got married i think um something like that something in that time frame i you can rewear and rewear and rewear you can rewear these up to 30 times or more if you're careful of them uh if you want some dedicated how to wear lashes kind of content i have some on my page i will try and upload them on shorts as well on my instagram page i will try and upload them on shorts as well and i know i've created some for verify specifically as well so i really hope that if you are on instagram you are not just following me but also follow the brand page because i'm trying to do as much informational content when it comes to products like this products that otherwise i feel like intimidate a certain set of people and they shouldn't because like you saw it's actually really really easy to wear it's not complicated at all it's just a matter of trying it out on your own a couple of times and you're done and once you get used to it you're sorted uh the lash glue i'm using is duo i really like the duo lash glue miss claire does some nice lash glues what i'll do in the description section of this video when i leave you a whole host of links my god for products that i am using and that i love and some dupes and this and that is i will go ahead and give you some glue recommendations as well uh did i have a glue for this product range did i did but i couldn't afford to launch it with um so hopefully with time inshallah 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 we will be able to do more 
as a brand i think the trick to lashes that doesn't um that i think intimidates a lot of people is when you've tried to apply it you apply it when it's all wet or you apply it when it's um too dry you just have to give it that enough time to semi dry on your lashes and then pop them on another thing that i think people do wrong while wearing the lashes is that they leave their lashes in full length you have to trim them cut them according to your eye with your eye with meaning itna um and skip something that's too close and skip the path that's towards the curve on the outer corner get that right um but these lashes i promise you are so lightweight they are so nice they are so they feel so soft um i had somebody again like it sounds like i'm sharing other people's stories with you sometimes especially now i'm realizing because this is like the third or fourth anecdote i'm sharing with you that someone else has told me about but okay fine let me tell you about myself forget somebody else let me tell you about myself when i was in testing phase for this i was wearing one of the lash styles i had like some 15 lash styles on me to be honest and i don't remember which one i was now of course we've launched five um and i was wearing one of them and i wasn't wearing any 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 makeup that day i was literally just wearing the lash and um when i got into bed paru khala made me realize she was like tumhari palke tum abhi tak pehne ho and i was like oh shit i need to take these off and that's when i pulled them up and i <laughs> i forgot i was wearing them they are that lightweight they are that 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 lightweight and it was that easy to put them on just gonna push it in place and my phone is ringing again give me a second please okay i am going to go ahead and do the lashes on the lower lash line now that i'm fully done with the eye I don't know why we make these silly faces to be honest because it's not like it affects that part of the face the eye at all. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the face. You're about to see a sample. Oh my god, it is unreal that I am sharing these things with you way before launch. This could be considered really dumb as well to be honest for business reasons. I'm not like going to pretend like I don't see that. but i'm prioritizing my wear fam over any other thought and experience what i'm using is a bronzer it's super easy to work with build i'm going with a naturalish finish right now but you can play it harder if that's what you like i'm using the verified number 04 brush which has a dome shape and the dome shape helps reach the hollow of the cheekbone really really easily You can go a little bit harder if that's what you prefer. Like I said, but I'm not going for that at the moment. I am also going to go ahead and apply some here, like I would with a contour powder. This is one of the products that I've been so obsessed with for so long. This is actually a pretty much finished, ready product. I couldn't afford to launch it this year <laughs> because you know every makeup line needs uh, a lot of capital. So I'm holding on to this. for next year inshallah but it is a fully ready to go kind of a product now when it comes to blushes i know and understand that some people prefer liquid brushes blushes and uh, the rare beauty liquid blush is something that i personally really really love it is something that you would go ahead and use on your cheeks and then probably set it in with a powder one i particularly especially since i've applied my bronzer and i have my airbrush powder i just want to stick with the very pro look and creams and liquids are nice for when you're looking for like naturalish dewy looks i prefer the more matte looks because i feel like you can play around with those more and they are actually more beginner friendly like for example the rare beauty liquid blush i love but the rare beauty cream blush i find so difficult to work what i was saying when my battery died was that um the liquid blush for example from rare i absolutely love but the cream blush is something that i cannot work with i've tried several times i swear i promise i keep thinking it's me and it's not the blush but it could be the other way around you really never know um i find that it moves my foundation it moves anything that's below it and it's just a little bit more complicated to work with so if you want another alternative i give you this one here for me i am going to stick with my blushes i'm sorry it's just the true story that i love my blushes also one second i want to address something in terms of feedback that i get on these blushes a lot of people tend to mention that it has fallout it does have fallout i'm not going to pretend like it doesn't have fallout we've tried more pressed versions of it um and the thing with the more pressed versions is while it reduces fallout it doesn't land up blurring your pores like the product does so it's not as delicate as irl paris filter um it doesn't have as much fallout as the original original first version of irl paris filter 
having said that if i do launch a more pressed version of this particular product it will not give that soft focus literally why the name is so blur on your um skin so i wanted to make sure 100% that what i'm giving is the blur and not just the pigment so personally it was a spin off for me do i like spin off is spin off the right way to put it it was a toss up between um is it okay to have a little fallout and give a better result on the face or should i cut the fallout and let it be a tad bit not patchy but like maybe chalky or maybe like and obviously i was like let there be a little fallout um i would rather there be fallout and i'm going in with very very little so it's quite a pigmented powder mind you if i build it up more the drama of the eyes will get taken away from um otherwise one of the other compliments we get on this product is how absolutely pigmented it is so it's buildable go with little then take more don't take too much in one go for highlighter how about we do topaz i feel like topaz is it is one of my go to shades i feel like it's got such a natural nude highlighter vibe it doesn't add like color but it's got that brown meets pink nudeness which is just stunning the way i look at it going to go ahead and add some here as well my hair is looking like a mess i am running short on time and i need to speed up but i'm almost done it's just lipstick time i love it um i really like the k by katrina lip liners i feel like they do it, they did and do a really bang up job with some of their formulas so quickly going to go this is shade hype cuz i still have to do my hair comments on my instagram about do lip liners cuz i've been sharing like my favorite lip combos on instagram reels and stuff i don't know if i've started uploading them on re on shorts as well maybe i should um this is latella muffin over here from the new liquid lipstick lip frosting collection and the thing with lip liners is that they're very expensive for a small brand like mine and also the finding manufacturers for that has a lot less options than a lot of other makeup items it's not like it's not on my wish list i pretty much have every single makeup item ever on my wish list for verified because i want verified to be one of those all rounder having everything kind of brands but i want to find gaps in them fill them and not just do them for the heck of it Okay, I do like to go ahead and apply one more layer of airbrush powder on top of my makeup. I skip the parts where I have applied highlighter just because I don't want to land up mattifying them literally. Like I have hit pan on so many of these to be honest just because I a use them so often and all the time and b because uh testing since months before launch and all of that good stuff. I'm literally going everywhere except my highlighter points and you can see there's some shine here from the Hollywood glow so I'm not going too hard over there because I still want the radiance but I don't want it to look like I'm sweating either. This will have my makeup look like it's fresh literally through the day. And don't worry about putting this on top of your blush and on top of your bronzer or whatever simply because this is to set it, finish it, airbrush it, add that Paris filter. It will not take anything away unless you go in harder to diffuse and reduce. So don't worry about that. Um I feel like my hair is kind of looking nice all simple and plain, but I do think that the ends need to be stylized a bit because I am going for an event and I am going to be shooting at the event. I've set up my Dyson over here. I have the all new Air app. I did receive them from this as a PR gift to be honest. I always give you those disclaimers. So I don't think I'm going to go ahead and do much here. Maybe just the ends I will do a little bit of curling in which will add um just a little finesse to the look TBH. I'm not going to talk through this part. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do it because I need um to really get done, get ready and leave. <laughs> come to the end of today's video my hair is done my makeup's done i'm going to go change from my kaftan into my event outfit put on some jewelry and get going i really hope you enjoyed today's video it was a chatty makeup walk through there was a lot of tidbits behind the scenes information and a whole lot of sneak peeks which i really hope that you will give me some thoughts on down below in the comment section i'm going to go i'm going to see you in the next one i will keep vlogging i will do sit down videos more often the secret code for today's video is best of both worlds which is basically sit down videos and vlogs that's the way i see it in my head 
leave that down below in the comments if you've made it so far i love you very much click on the links down below as well in case you want to get your hands on any of the products or other recommendations that i'm making through the links in the description section wow i sound like such a beauty youtuber again i love it okay i'm gonna see you in the next one Mwah. bye